Good morning. Before I would begin with my reflection for today's gospel, I will ask you questions that were once a kind of questions for myself. Mga pangutana sa mga kaniadto, mga pangutana na ako sa akong kagalingon. I used to ask myself, how was your relationship with God? How deep is your connection with Him? Mapasalamaton ba ka sa adlaw-adlaw ang grasya di sa mi? Nganong malimot man ka magpasalamat human maduhog yung mga pag-ampu? Kaya ba ni mo ipamalita kung unsa ka maayo ang atong ginoo? Those were only a few to what I used to ask myself. Now, with those mentioned questions, nabay bisag usa ato nga imuhang na pangutana diha sa imong kugalingon? Sa imong kugalingon, mga egsoon, bisag sa mga niadto, kagahapon, nabay bisag isa na ito nga akong mga nalitok na imuhang na pangutana sa imong kugalingon. Kung anaman gani, o bisan related lang ato nga mga pangutana, maayo na ah. Maayo ka na kay worried po di ay kita sa atong status atong relationship with God and atong status as a Christian. Let's continue with the reflection. So, as a Christians, we all slowly discover ourselves as imperfect beings, especially when we try to explore the peripherals of the world. Sa atong padayon nga paglawig, isip usa ka kristohanon, ato usab masinati sa hinay-hinay nga paagi nga kitang tanan tinuod dili mga perpekto. Kahibalo na ba kita ni Ana? Dawat na ba na nato? Kaysa musugot taog sa dili, dili yun ta mga perfect. Wala. No one. Nadi. Nimand. Amudu. Dari mo. Other languages rato sa no one. Charcha lang ang mutaas ko nung akong reflection. <laughs> When we say no one is perfect and we are all imperfect beings, no one is exempted. Even if they claim that they are a title holders, politicians, high-ranking officials, pageant queens, even if they claim that they are the richest, wealthiest people ever recorded, recorded Still, dili na siya perfect. Dili sila perfect. Bisan ka ng mga tao nga ginanganlan o mga, or mga gina, dagnayan o perfectionist. Nagya na sila yung mga lapses. Nagya na sila yung mga sipiat. Masayop gya na sila kay we are all imperfect beings. Kay ba mo kinsay perfect? Kay ba mo kinsay perfect? Siya. Siya ra ang perfect. Only him. Moving forward, as we all continue to learn, most of the time, we are distorted by the demands of the daily life. And by that, we quickly break into our weaknesses. Halos sa everyday, nagi tayo mga bagong matunan. Mga butang nga matunan tungod kay ang kalibutan gatuyok pa. Mostly, before ta makatoon, buagi gitag mga challenges, kalisod, kasakit o kakapoy. Pero, that's okay. At least, at the end of the day, nyit-nyit. Char. <laughs> Mwagi man ni Ana, that's life. At least, nakatoon ta. O dapat lang yun nga na atay matunan. Alkan si kaayo ta. Nasakitan tao niya, wala tayo natunan. No. Cannot be. O pagkahuman nga na atay makatunan, mag-move on. Mag-move forward. Dili mo pabiling stagnant. As we continue to learn, makasinatitag mga butang nga dili nato masabtan. Mga butang nga galisod tagsabot, which could lead us to just surrender na lang. And that's sad. Tungod kay, nga lang mapapildi man ta sa mga kalisod sa kinabuhi? Nga lang mapapiog man ta sa mga pagsulay? Why not try harder to conquer? Sa panahon karon, matira matibay giyod. That's why sa hinahinay nga paagi and everything that would come in our lives, we should not get swayed easily. With those mentioned things about conquering and such, na'y mo kontra, na'y mo oppose. 
Example, when we are reaching with our dreams and goals in life, there are times nga bisag unsa unog paningkamot na agyoy mga butang nga dili gyud para kanato. That no matter how much we desire it, how much we try and desire it, some things are really not meant to be good. Sama ra na sa akong crush nga. Bisan sa ako papansin, di gitu ako. Char lang. <laughs> with those mentioned, with those two mentioned real life situations, ang pagpadayo no ang pag-surrender. Taysa. Sa binisaya sa surrender. Di ba no mo? Pagsuko. Tagalog man. Kasi yan lang. With those two mentioned real life situations, ang pagpadayon o ang pag-surrender. Confusing. No, padayon tapos mo surrender. Because it's a quest in our lives on knowing when to strive harder and when to surrender. How would we know? Saan di pagkabalo? Saan pag kung kano sa mo surrender o kano sa mo padayon? Unsa man ato pagkahibalo sa saktong timing sa atong kinabuhi sa pagpadayon ug sa pagsurrender na lang. Most of the time we question the scheme of things in our path, the pain and the sorrows because most of the time we tend to put periods where God places commas. Ako manon man gud nato tanan dayon, una-una ba, decision. <laughs> decision man gud tag ato-ato, na pa man untay sumpay. Na pa kusunod sa mga butang. Why not acknowledge God? Why not acknowledge God as our greatest compass? The one who will lead the right path for us. Acknowledge God and that he is above everything. The strength that we lack that the strength that we lack to be able to reach to our destination despite of our failures is faith. Have faith in him. Faith is something that will exceptionally help us get through all those demands in life. Let's have faith in God that we could be in the places only by God's grace. Salig lang yun ta sa atong ginoong amahan nga ipahimutang taniya sa mga lugar o sitwasyon nga sigun sa iyang kabubuton. That is why we must never be ashamed of proclaiming God and His plan of salvation. We must never deny the, the existence of Jesus in our hearts. He lives within us, and we all know that. Connecting with what I've mentioned earlier, isa sa mga pangutan ng akong nahisgot, kaya ba ni mong ay pamalita kung unsa ka maayong atong ginoo? Kaya ka na to? Dili ka ta maunhan o kaulaw. Don't get me wrong ha, pero I've been there man good. And I know some of you here had experienced this kind of feeling or have decided to do instead. I've been to a situation before wherein sa tapok-tapok with friends, ma-awkward ko mo share og word of God. Maulo ko mo share sa pulong sa pulong og mga pagtulunan nga akong nahimamat sa simbahan. This is because sa mga reaction sa mga makadungog. This is because of the reaction I could get from this barkada of mine. Kanang na certain topic ba tapos na ay angay i-share nga word of God tapos the reaction would be like ay wow just need ka girl sana all makadios og ay buta na lugar ka mga ngana ito nga reaction such words nga joke lang unta para sa ila but not for you or should i say kind of jokes nga not for me because it made me think nga di na lang ko mo share oy binuangan man ko Di na lang ko mo share oy kay murag di man sila interested. But as life goes on, as I go to church regularly, I have learned that I was wrong. Ma-awkward og maulo sa friends tungod kay ga-share kog word of God is really wrong. Ang maulo ko nga pagbati kung mo share ko sa ila sa pulong o pagtulunan sa Ginoo is very wrong. That was so shameful of me. Why? Tungod kay it's just the same ika ulaw na ako sa si Jesus Christ. It's just the same with dili ta happy og proud nga he redeemed us from all of our sins. Wala man gani si Jesus Christ na ulaw to mga panahon nga gipaantos siya og gipaaraw sa iyang dakong krus. Daghan gani kayo nakita dadto. 
many have witnessed his sufferings. Dagan siyag mga labud, mga samad. Wounds are all over his body. He was even covered by blood. And to top it all, he was crucified. Gilansang siya sa krus ni Puncio Pilato na matay o gilubong. It all happened because he loved us all and wanted to redeem us all from our sins. Niya ikaulaw lang nato, lugar siya. And he did. He saved us. He redeemed us. Hayay kayo ta. Dili ta ang ngayon luwas unong pakamatian. Kitay nakasala pero siya ang gilansang. Nahitabo ka na tanang tungod sa iyang dakong gugma para ka na to. Pero, yes, nai pero, pwede ta mamahimong mga angayan, angayan nga giluwas niya, if we could be courageous enough to acknowledge God and spread His goodness towards all. Atong ipamalita, atong ishare sa uban, sa uban nga mga wala pa nasayod o wala pa makaila kang Kristong Jesus. Acknowledging Jesus comes from how we see Him and from our relationship with Him. He desires to be received and welcomed as the Lord of our lives. Ug ang ayan lamang nga ato siyang dawaton sa atong sigiya ka mga kinabuhi. We are to live out of that relationship. Like what I've said earlier, it is not always easy to declare oneself openly for Jesus in the presence of others. Sometimes we deem it counterproductive, but at other times because we are fearful of what others might think about us. Kana bitong mga hunahuna nato nga ulo man mo share about God oy, unsa pa lang ilang unahon sa ako ah. I think I think it's time for us as born again Christians to change that kind of mindset. We can all do it if we call out to God. We should pray to God and ask for guidance and to give us strength to conquer our failures every day. There may be times nga masyakin ta o mubati ta o kahadlok apan dapat mas matigbabaw ng atong deep love, connection, and trust toward God. We all should trust on His plan more than we trust our most delicate plans. At the end of the day, we all should surrender everything to His name. We should ask for His loving presence to understand our sins and the sins that we commit in the coming days. After all, layo kayo ta sa word na perfect for we are all imperfect beings. But with God, we feel safe and secured. We all should start to pray and ask guidance for us to conquer everything, to be courageous enough to declare God's goodness in the presence of others. Have faith in Him. And with great faith, He would lead us to greater things and opportunities. For faith does not make things easy. It makes them possible. Mau kinetong ibang hiliyog, dalaygo ng atong Diyos.